tensions are high. And there's a fighter competition heating up in Europe that dives deep into the strategic crossroads where technology meets geopolitics. Poland, a nation that has significantly ramped up its defense budget, finds itself at an intriguing juncture. With an arsenal already boasting of agile F-16s and soon 32 examples of the stealthy F-35 Lightning, the country is on a quest to further solidify its aerial supremacy. In this new competition, the contenders are Boeing's F-15EX, also known as the Eagle II, and Europe's high-flying marvel, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Each represents not just a formidable piece of engineering, but a distinct path in Poland's evolving defense strategy. So strap in as we break down this electrifying face-off between two of the world's most advanced heavyweight fighters. Let's take a look at the capabilities, strategic implications, and the high stakes of Poland's choice in this intense competition. We'll begin by looking at the latest version of the Eagle, the F-15EX or Eagle II, which could be the American powerhouse Poland needs. Picture an F-15EX taking off from a Polish airbase, its powerful engines providing an auditory testament to its capabilities. This aircraft is not just joining an air force. It's filling a vital role in a modern military that has made defense preparedness its priority. In the context of Poland's ambitions and NATO's commitments, the F-15EX is not just another aircraft, but an integrated system designed for the challenges of modern aerial warfare with a high missile carrying capacity. Manufactured by Boeing, the F-15EX is often hailed as the most advanced multi-role fighter in existence today. It is a direct result of the U.S.'s national defense strategy, which identifies emerging threats and calls for multi-domain operational capabilities. Exclusive features like the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, or EPOS, and Open Mission Systems, or OMS, architecture, make the F-15EX a formidable asset against both conventional and unconventional threats. EPOS is a significant sensor upgrade for the F-15 platform and is arguably the world's most advanced electronic warfare integrated suite. Produced in part by BAE Systems, this is achieved by combining radar warning, geolocation, situational awareness, and self-protection into one package, specifically designed to allow the Eagle II to operate and survive in highly contested environments. The system should allow for deeper penetration and increased survivability into modern integrated air defense networks. As a result, Eagle 2's equipped with EPOS should cause massive issues for adversaries. Moreover, EPOS is an all-digital setup consisting of processors, frequency converters, transmitters, and antennas. This all-digital infrastructure takes up much less room and the space savings allows the Eagle 2 to carry 50% more flares and chaff for defensive measures as compared to current versions of the Eagle that are equipped with legacy systems. EPOS is a major update that provides the pilot a vastly improved assessment of the battle space and real-time 360-degree situational awareness. This is similar to the sensor fusion suites found on 5th generation fighters like the F-35 and F-22. Given these defensive systems and upgrades, there could be other roles the Eagle II could play besides an air-to-air -air missile truck. The F-15's large size and carrying capacity could allow it to be used as a launch platform for longer-range cruise missiles. In a scenario where an enemy target would need to be saturated with large volleys of cruise missiles, several flights of F-15s could be launched, each carrying multiple missiles. Since the Eagle is not nearly the same size as a larger bomber, it could be somewhat harder to detect which would help it penetrate in an alpha strike against a well-defended target. We'll take a look more about the Eagle 2's features, but first, today's video is brought to you by Bespoke Post, a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome containing top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Every month, members are introduced to cool new products from outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters. These are based on a preference quiz that they fill out. The good news is that 90% of the products come from small brands, 
many of which are based right here in the U.S. For example, this knife from the Terra box is made by Bare Bones, which is based in Salt Lake City. Every box of Awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. You also get to preview your box before it's shipped. You'll get a box of Awesome assigned to you, and before it's shipped, you'll get to preview what comes inside so you can decide if you'd like to keep it, swap it for a different box, or skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Alright, so to get 20% off your first box of Awesome, click the link in the description and enter Pilot Photog 20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash pilotphotog20. You'll receive awesome items and help support this channel. Now you know. Getting back to the F-15 EX. Another application for the Eagle II could be to launch hypersonic missiles. Given the Eagle's high top speed and altitude capabilities, it should make activating a hypersonic missile scramjet or ramjet that much easier. Along with its proven incredibly successful combat record, interoperability is a major selling point for the F-15 EX. Especially for Poland, which as we mentioned already operates F-16s and will soon include F-35s in its inventory. This makes the F-15 EX an ideal fit as it would effortlessly integrate with existing systems and platforms, enhancing operational effectiveness and synergy among US and NATO forces. Both of these options would turn a traditionally air superiority platform into a long-range strategic strike asset. In performing this type of mission, the F-15 could land, refuel, and rearm in a fighter configuration, making it a true multi-role aircraft. It's important to note the F-15EX is not just a concept aircraft, it's already in production, with two aircraft delivered to the U.S. Air Force. Additionally, some estimates show its operational life could exceed between 10 and 20,000 flight hours, promising longevity and an excellent return on investment. Furthermore, Poland's recent dealings with Boeing has turned into the acquisition of 96 AH-64E Apache attack helicopters. This sets the stage for a continued symbiotic relationship between Poland and the U.S. defense industry. When it comes to filling the air superiority gap, the F-15EX stands out. Its considerable range and payload capabilities make it uniquely suited for long-range missions, including ground attacks fulfilling Poland's need for a heavyweight, multi-role combat aircraft. In summary, the F-15EX brings to the table unparalleled capabilities, a robust technological ecosystem, and a track record of excellence. For a nation focused on amplifying its military capabilities and fulfilling its NATO obligations, the F-15EX could be the piece that completes Poland's aerial warfare puzzle. Getting back to the competition, you can't have much of a competition without another aircraft in consideration. Enter the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon is instantly recognizable by its twin engines and canard delta wing. Its mission, to patrol the NATO airspace along the unpredictable borders of Eastern Europe. Its record is proven, employed by multiple European air forces, and has demonstrated its prowess in several NATO-enhanced air policing missions. Now imagine this asset becoming a key player in the Polish Air Force. The Eurofighter Typhoon is not just any aircraft. It's one of the most advanced air dominance and swing roll platforms globally. Its maturity has been well tested over time, providing reliability and exceptional maneuverability. It boasts an impressive 13 hardpoints for an extensive payload that can be customized for various mission profiles, ranging from air-to-air -air combat with advanced meteor missiles to long-range standoff attacks using Storm Shadow missiles. In addition to its standalone capabilities, the Eurofighter offers a significant advantage in its proven interoperability with F-35 platforms. As the Polish Air Force plans to field a diverse fighter fleet that includes F-35s and F-16s, the Eurofighter can seamlessly integrate with these platforms, building upon the operational experiences of the Royal Air Force and Italian Air Forces, in doing so, Poland could also gain entry into Europe's largest defense consortium, potentially opening doors to the sixth generation global combat air program in the future. Although a fourth plus generation fighter, the Eurofighter Typhoon's state-of-the-art sensor suite 
and electronic jamming equipment deliver what is known as digital stealth, a form of electronic deception that supplements traditional stealth capabilities. This technology equips the pilot with unparalleled situational awareness, thereby increasing the aircraft's overall survivability. And when it comes to technology transfer, unlike some US-made alternatives, the Eurofighter Typhoon promises complete data sovereignty and transparency. There are no black boxes or restricted access to source codes or limited control over onboard data systems. This approach allows Poland not only control over mission critical data, but also promotes the growth of its domestic defense industry through technological spillover. And when it comes to the human element, the VP of Eurofighter Export perhaps captured it best, quote, We believe the Eurofighter offers Poland an unmatched blend of operational readiness, F-35 interoperability, and technological advancement. All of these contribute to powerful air dominance capabilities, data sovereignty, and a long-term boost to Poland's defense sector, end quote. The Eurofighter also has been undergoing a steady series of upgrades, the latest versions of the Eurofighter come equipped with a large area display, or LAD, further adding to its appeal as a modern, user-centric combat aircraft. In an era of resurgent debates over defense responsibilities and sovereignty within Europe, the Eurofighter Typhoon seems more than just a chess piece on the board. It appears to be, are you ready for it, a game changer. So which fighter will Poland ultimately use? The venerable F-15EX? or the esteemed Eurofighter Typhoon. Like any competition, both aircraft come with their own pros and cons. The good news for the West is that either of these airframes are excellent machines. What do you think? Which fighter would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to my patrons and channel members who directly support this channel. If you'd like to become a member, I'll leave links in the description below. The F-15EX and Eurofighter Typhoon competition represents the latest trend in increases in military spendings given these tense times that we're living in. Now you know!